You wanted the best? You got the best. And today on the channel, we're counting down my top 10 favorite action figures of 2022. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for a big one, as in today's video here, we're counting down my top 10 action figures of 2022, and if you've been following along here on the channel over the last two months, hopefully you are, hopefully you've subscribed to this very channel, uh, but over the last two months we've been counting down everything best of 2022, and I'm going to run it down, here is the best of videos we've done here on the channel, if you missed any of these, go back and check them out, but we counted down Top 10 McFarlane Toys of 2022. Top 5 NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures of 2022. Top 5 Marvel Legend build of figures of 2022. Top 10 MCU and Top 10 Comic Book Marvel Legends of 2022. Then into wrestling, we did the Top 10 WWE Ultimate Editions of 2022. Top 10 Retro Wrestling Style Figure of 2022. Top 10 Mattel Elites. Top 10 AEW Jazzwares. Top 5 Masterverse, of course the He-Man line. Top 5 He-Man Origins line. Top 10 G.I. Joe Classified. And then we finally did the Top 20 Miscellaneous. Everything else under a different umbrella in the Miscellaneous pile. We counted down 20 of those to get to the number 1. So a lot of best of lists there. And what we're doing it is we're taking the winner of every single one of those categories, putting them, those 13 categories, finding 13 figures, and we're going to say what is the actual top 10 from there. So we're going to have a figure from each line going head-to-head -to, -head to truly find out what my number one figure was of 2022. And of course, we did a few other top 10 lists, top 5 lists on the channel. We did WWE Mattel Elite Honorable Mentions. We did the top 5 Rey Mysterio figures of 2022, top 5 Hulk Hogan's of 2022. We did the worst figures of the year as voted by me. And we did the top peg warmers of the year as voted by me. So a lot of best of stuff to finish off 2022. Now we're into 2023. It's time to deem who is the king. Who is the king of action figures in 2022? Who is going to take the crown? So this should be a very, very fun video here. Of course, as usual, this is my list. That's what some people don't understand is I can't be wrong because it's my personal list for whatever reason. Put your list in the comments. Take the winners of all these. See if you can do it. I know it's a lot of work, but let's find out what your top 10 figures are of 2022 and put them in the comments down below. Simple as that. A few other things. These are lines that I do collect. Of course, I can't collect everything. You can't collect everything. Nobody can collect everything. So when I judge these figures, one thing is simple. If I don't own it or I haven't unboxed it or I don't have it in my collection, I can't vote on that. I can't say that's the best figure of the year. I just can't do that because I have no experience. I've seen pictures of it. How does that count? So this is stuff that we have reviewed on the channel. We did 1,200 videos on the channel, probably even over that actually this year on the channel. So a lot going on. Uh, but we unboxed every single one of these. So if there's any of these figures you see, you like, you want to go see the video, search my name, search whatever it is, you'll find the unboxing video. And it's funny how some of these things, maybe they get better, they get worse over the years, the ebbs and flows as you spend more time time with it. Always interesting to see how that goes in these kind of videos. But this is lines that I did collect that I personally unboxed that I personally have experience with. If I don't know about it, there could be the greatest turtle figure ever. Uh, and I just don't own it. I don't know about it. I can't put it in my list. It's simple as that. So I wanted to put that out there. Uh, and I've reviewed, like I said, all these figures we're seeing here today on the channel. Now, one glaring omission people are going to say, I know it. So I'm going to get out in front of it is, why isn't this bad boy on the countdown. Why is this guy, my friend, my co-pilot right here, should he join me for the whole unboxing? I don't know. But a lot of people are going to say, why is Galactus not on here? He should be on here. He should be the number one figure of the year. And you know what? You're right. Yes, you are. And I said it in the Marvel Legends one. This is not fair. This is not fair. It's truly not fair. Yes, it's an action figure. I do get it. But it's a little bit different. This was a crowdfunded item. This isn't something everybody can get. That doesn't necessarily mean it's disqualified from this list. But the price point on this, the size of it, everything else, it's just not a fair competition in my eyes. Your list may be different. You might want to say, I don't care. I'm putting him down. 
you can do that, but I am disqualifying him from the top 10 because let's be honest, he would probably be number one on everybody's list. I know he would probably be number one on mine. I kind of view him as a figure slash play set personally, but everybody does different. I get that, but I wanted to call this out. Definitely an honorable mention. Definitely amazing next level figure of 2022. I don't know if Hasbro will ever top this one with this and the Sentinel. Uh, they might as well just quit the crowdfunding from there. Who knows? We'll see what happens in 2023. But I wanted to call out Galactus before anybody else does. So there you go. Now let's get down to the list. Get your list together. But I got to start. We're doing a top 10 list. Let's talk the three honorable mentions first. All right, before we dive into the top 10, we've got three honorable mentions. Of course, we did 13 year-end best of countdown videos. So we got three that just missed the top 10. Now, these are still fabulous figures, still figures I absolutely love. But when we look at them as a whole, when we try to put a top 10 list together, somebody's got to be 13, 12, and number 11. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit faster right here. So starting it off at number 13, that's officially, we'll call it number 13, AEW Jazzwares, Kenny Omega, Blood and Guts. And you guys know I'm a sucker for the old Blood and Guts figures. I'm a sucker for old school wrestling street fights where, hey, it's time to wear your jeans. You put the knee pads up over your jeans. Old school Terry Funk, Dusty Rhodes style. And that's what we got in new style with Kenny Omega right here. An absolutely fabulous figure, but coming in at 13 in my top 10, whatever we're going to call it for the year end list. Now we go to number 12. Number 12, a little controversial for some of you guys watching this video, as this one came out very, very late 2021 for some people. Not all people got this, including myself, and I always do these videos at the end of the year. Let's say I do the top 10 Marvel Legends, and I do it the middle of December. Well, anything that comes out after December, that's going to be grandfathered into the next year, and that's what we got a little bit with this one here. Who are we talking about? We're talking about the Infinity Saga Captain America, he is coming in officially at number 12, a great figure. Probably my favorite MCU version of Captain America. Looks just like Chris Evans. I love the body style, love the movements on this one. Just an all-around fabulous figure, but just outside of the top 10. Now we're going to take a look at number 11, and number 11 comes to us from the Masters of Universe Origins Waves, or series, I should say. It comes from Clawful. Clawful, an awesome one, going all the way back to my childhood. And let's be honest, a lot of these lists here, and a lot of your guys' list, is fueled with nostalgia. That's why your nostalgia might be different than my nostalgia. Our list might be different. Doesn't mean anybody's wrong, doesn't mean anybody is right. But Clawful, an absolute favorite of mine from my childhood. Very cool to get this updated. Love the bright, vibrant colors. Once again, just falling outside of the top 10. So these are the three honorable mentions. Now we're going to get down to it. We're going to get down to the official top 10. All right, we're kicking it off the countdown. I'm going to remind you guys, get your list together. I know it's some work, but put it in order down below. You got some time to think. Put it in the comments down below. But we're kicking it off at number 10. Number 10, we go to the top five NECA Ninja Turtles of 2022. As you guys know, I didn't rate Super 7 or anything but NECA. Uh, one of these days, and more to come. Watch that video for all the reasons why. But number 10, we're going for Frank and Ralph. Of course, I love the Universal Monsters. Of course, I love Frankenstein. Of course, I love my Turtles and Raphael. Put them together. It's going to be something I absolutely do love. And I do love this one. And I wasn't as... I was excited when it came out. I really did like it. But I talked earlier about figures that really grow on you throughout the years that you know you're just like looking at like what is this monstrosity and that's exactly what this kind of is in some ways looking at it and like boy i like it but do i love it but as the year goes on you start seeing it on your shelf you start getting other figures from this line next to it and this one really starts to stand out and that's exactly what this frank and ralph did for me just beautiful beautiful homage bringing them mashing them together very very cool so cool in fact number 10 on my year-end countdown all right, we're at the number nine spot, and the number nine spot very well could be the most frustrating figure of 2022, as a lot of us, most of us, all of us, let's just call it all of us, pre-ordered this a year and a half ago, and they say all good things come to those that wait. Well, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but in this case, they definitely did. Yes, it was a frustrating experience. Yes, it was a long wait, but quite the figure we did receive coming to us from the top ten Retro wrestling figures, number nine, we've got the Heels and Faces, Zombie Sailor, Double J, Jeff Jarrett, J-E-F-F-J-A-R-R-E-T-T -E himself, Jeff Jarrett from the Retro line, the famed orange card we didn't get back in the day. I have heard from some people say this head sculpt's terrible, it doesn't look anything like Jeff Jarrett. Well, you don't remember Jeff Jarrett in his first run or his USWA time frame, his Memphis time frame, because to me, this looks just like Jeff Jarrett from those, especially in the Hasbro. Hasbro, we'll call it Hasbro style. 
Yes, he looks like he's teaching a jazzercise class. I understand that. But I think this is a phenomenal retro figure. And easily, for me, hands down, the best retro figure of 2022. And it was really the year of retros. So many companies getting involved. We see more companies jumping into 2023. We've been talking about it for a long time. It's going to be very interesting where the chips fall in 2023 with these retro figures. Because I personally feel like the demand isn't as high. Now you got more companies getting involved. Something's got to give along the way. It'll be a very interesting one. We'll see what next year's top 10 retro figure looks like. But this year, there was no doubt in my mind uh, from the moment I unboxed this very late in 2022 that this Jeff Jarrett figure was going to be number one on that list. And he comes in at number nine on the top 10 year-end best of list. All right, we're at the number eight spot in our year-end countdown. And number eight comes from a category that was a little bit underwhelming, I would say, this year compared to other years. We're talking top five Marvel Legends Build-A-Figures. We're talking about Bone Breaker. Yes, we are Bone Breaker. A very underwhelming, not the best year for Build-A-Figures, and it really felt like they kind of got away from Build-A-Figures. We had a lot of one-off releases, Walgreens exclusives, store exclusives, things like that. It just didn't feel as like we had as many traditional Build-A-Figure waves in 2022. I hope that's something they rectify in 2023, as I do love these kind of characters and these big figures. I know we'll get some, I just hope we get a little bit more than we did in 2022. But Bonebreaker, I have to see, I have to say, probably the most diverse figure from Marvel Legends. When you throw out Galactus, of course, he's always thrown out of this call or this countdown here. But Bonebreaker just feels different. He feels like a vehicle slash person. You guys have known when I did do the unboxing of this, the building of the build a figure, when we did this top five countdown, I told the story about my special connection to Bonebreaker. As a kid, getting like five of these for Christmas from my mom, I talked those stories there. So there is sentimental nostalgia about this one. Always reminds me of uh, being a kid and opening up Bone Breaker after Bone Breaker. Uh, what a time to be alive that was on Christmas for sure. But just a cool, cool looking figure. Definitely different, definitely stands out. We talk about on the channel all the time. You get action figures when you're walking through a room. Maybe you've just seen somebody's collection. There's ones that catch your eye. You're like, what the heck? I see all these, but this one, what's up with this one? That's what we got with this bone breaker here. At least for me, once again, just a very, very cool one. So cool, in fact, coming in at number eight in my top 10 year end best of list. All right, coming in at number seven, once again, I have the power, is what a young Kyle said all the time when he was role playing He Man out in the yard, in the garage, in front of TV with his action figures. And no better involved in this list than coming in at number seven Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, 40th anniversary He Man. Talk about iconic, talk about nostalgic. Not quite the figure we remember back in the day, but a new modern day uh, example of it, I guess. Beautiful packaging for this to really throw us back. Just a very, very cool figure. And I talked about Bonebreaker being one of those ones that catch your eye. This one does as well, but the packaging, the figure itself, this is one of those figures that, of course, Masters of the Universe fans are going to buy. But this is one of those figures that uh, Johnny, little Johnny, oh, little Johnny, he was little back in the 80s. He collected He-Man. He's totally out of action figures now. He's collecting debt. He's collecting mortgages. He's going on vacation. He's doing that kind of stuff. But he was at Walmart with his kids. He walked through the aisle. And what did he see? A nostalgic flashback to his childhood. And he said, you know what? I don't collect action figures. I don't do any of that. But this would be really cool sitting on my desk at work. And that's what this figure does represent to, I think, a lot of people out there. If they could find it, we know how that goes. But I can see a lot of people grabbing this for nostalgic sake. Brought up the example in my unboxing of this that my dad grabbed one of these. He doesn't have any He-Man figures, but he remembers it. He remembers buying them for me as a kid. And of course, the cartoon being on. So it was nostalgic enough for him. And I think there's a lot of people that are feeling that same thing. And that's the beauty of a character like this, a figure like this, on top of it being very cool, very iconic. Heck, there was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version of this in 2022 as well. But I'm going for the regular edition here in the countdown. So Masterverse. 40th anniversary He-Man coming in at number seven. All right, we continue on with the countdown at number six. And number six, we go back to the late 80s. We go back to the early 90s. That nostalgic time period for a lot of people my age, maybe yourself included. And this one comes to us from our top 10 McFarlane Toys figures of 2022. Who are we talking about? Well, 
we're going to Swamp Thing. And there's three different versions of this. I grabbed the GameStop exclusive version. I like all of them in different ways, as we did talk about in that countdown. We did talk about in the unboxings. But Swamp Thing, one of those iconic characters. And it's always funny. I think I said it in the unboxing. I never correlated him as a DC comic or anything like that, even a really a comic book. To me, he was a kind of cheesy movie in the 80s that was on USA and all these things all the time that I saw a thousand times. He was a cartoon character. He had action figures. Uh, he had a show on USA in the 90s that I absolutely loved. Terry Funk was in an episode. How about that? Uh, Swamp Thing. That's what I think of with Swamp Thing. Uh, fairly recently, there was a new series. I never did see that. A lot of you have recommended that for me. One of these days, I'll check that out. But Swamp Thing was so iconic. A big mega figure. And the beautiful thing about Swamp Thing is he could be half this size. He could be double this size. And I don't know if anybody would argue because he's all around size. Everybody looks at him different. A lot of different media. He's had different sizes. So it's just really, really cool. And I love the three different versions. You got the variant uh, grayscaled one. Uh, you got the one with the horns that was GameStop. You got the regular edition that was regular release. Just a very, very cool mega figure. My favorite mega figure Todd McFarland has ever done. Just very nostalgic, very cool. A twist of the past with the future. Everything I really wanted in a modern day Swamp Thing as of right now. So he was coming in at number six on my top 10 year end countdown. All right, we're halfway there. Save the Bon Jovi jokes. Bon Jovi is not welcome on the channel. John Bon Jovi, if you've subscribed, please unsubscribe. You need to be blocked. But anyways, we're at number five right here. And what are we talking? Well, we're going to the top 10 Marvel Legends comic book edition of 2022 as we're going to the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man at number five. A fantastic Spider-Man. I don't need to tell any of you guys that have this how good this is. And this is a bit of a sleeper. I would say this is the best and the biggest sleeper Marvel Legends figure of 2022 as not a lot of people had high hopes for that two-pack. You know, Spinneret, they were like, what is this? I don't know the Renew Your Vows storyline. Things like that. But who'd have thought Thought we'd get an amazing Spider-Man, super articulated, as you know, which we've got a lot of good articulated Spider-Mans this year in 2022 from multiple companies as well. But this one hits all the feels for Spider-Man for me. I love the coloring. Yes, I love different colors. I love different aspects of Spider-Man. But something about this darker blue with the red, the big eyes, the beautiful posability on this one. And it being such a sleeper figure, really one of the first, if not the first, Marvel Legends with the cardboard packaging. So a lot of feedback, a lot of eyes on this one very early on as well. Just an all-around fabulous figure. And you saw it in my review. You saw it in my countdown of the top 10 Marvel Legend comic book figures of 2022. Not a lot more to say about this besides it is a heck of a good figure. Definitely should be on everybody's Spider-Man collection. So good, in fact, he's coming in at number five in my year-end countdown. All right, we're at the number four spot in our year-end countdown. And number four comes to us from the WWE Mattel faction of action figures. We go to the Elite line. We go to Elite 98 for one of the goodest brothers around. We've got Elite 98, Rick Boogs. Man, oh man, did I love this figure. I knew I'd like this figure. I didn't know how much I would love it. I loved it so much. In fact, he beat guys like the Ultimate Warrior, the Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, you name it, countless Elite figures in 2022. But something about a heavy metal guitarist wrestling, lifting weights, doing all his things, and oh yeah, he's got a Megadeth tattoo on the figure sign me up all day long this is what i'm looking for and hopefully rick boogs has a good 2023 as unfortunately 2022 was pretty messed up for him via injury of course at wrestlemania but an absolutely awesome figure a beautiful guitar uh te new technology in the singlet we've seen a few times but not very many uh, like i said the beautiful guitar but then also the ponytail that is removable you want short hair version you want long hair version Choose your own ponytail adventure. A lot going on with this figure. Of course, he did have a chase version as well, but I prefer the regular old plain Jane version here. We're hopping aboard the Boogs Cruise, coming in hot at number four, Mattel Elite Series 98, Rick Boogs. All right, I can feel the electricity in the air, and if you want to feel that electricity, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this video the old thumbs up, as of course it does help the channel grow, as you guys all know by now. But number three, once again, we go to the WWE Universe of Action Figures. This time, we go to the Mattel Ultimate Edition line for the new gen ring crowdfunding Doink the Clown Ultimate Edition. And what a surprise this year. Of course, the new generation ring 
quite the concept, quite the thing. We talked all about it. Uh, I believe 2021 is when we talked about it. We did a lot of videos on the reasons why to believe and to get there and all that. Well, 2022, we finally got this delivered. And a lot of us scratched our head, doink ultimate, but doink ultimate was the ultimate I never know I needed. Never would have been on my top 10, probably not even my top 25 most wanted ultimate edition figures. But sometimes I guess Mattel or these companies, they know better than we do. And this is a perfect example because never in a million years would I think he would be on any top 10 list uh, in 2022 or any year uh, for that matter out there. But this Doink the Clown with the different hairdos, the faces, the extra accessories here, the big old mallet, the beautiful soft goods robe, of course the ultimate uh, articulation. They even give him a pot belly, so for future use here. A lot to like about this Doink the Clown, and obviously one of the sleepers of 2022 out of all figures. And such a sleeper, in fact, jumping up all the way to number three in my year-end countdown. All right, we're at the number two spot in my year-end countdown, and number two comes from the top 20 miscellaneous action figures of 2022 countdown video here on the channel. Who are we talking about? Well, we're taking a journey over to Super 7. We're taking a journey to the Ultimate Editions. We're taking a trip to the Thundercats for the Ultimate Mumra. And oh boy, if you guys own this, I don't have to tell you how cool this is. Of course, growing up in the 80s, watching Thundercats. Who are we fooling? Watching Thundercats now. Mumra, one of the big five villains of the 80s. Mumra, just absolutely iconic. Absolutely nightmare-inducing to a lot of kids at one time as well. But to get him this year in action figure form as a deluxe figure, a super big figure, I go back to getting the original Mumra. I talked about it before. The old Empire Mall in South Dakota, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Shout out to you out there. I got the Mumra toy as a kid, and I loved that toy. But I remember watching it on TV saying, I wish he looked like this. I wish he looked like the TV show. Now, after many, many years, we finally got it. And that's exactly what we got right here. Just an all-around fabulous figure. Just absolutely beautiful. And I could see people just wanting him in Lionel. And that's all they wanted out of the Thundercats. Heck, some people might just want Mumra. But a fabulous, fabulous figure. One of the greatest villains of all time in cartoon animations of the 80s. Nothing that I don't like about this figure. Almost the perfect figure for me. But one did beat it out. Who is that? Stay tuned. All right, it's time to crown the number one action figure of 2022 as voted by me. Do you got your list together? Make sure you put it in the comments down below. Of course, like this video. It always helps the channel out. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because if you like countdown videos like this, guess what? We do one every single Thursday on the channel. Every Friday, we do the action figure hunts for the week where I show all the stores I was hunting for the week. Saturday, all the toy news recap for the week. Sunday, weekly purchases. Every Tuesday, we got a Jack's Class Superstars video. A lot going on on the channel. And like I said, we did over 1,200 videos this year. And we did even more videos over on the Patreon. And that is truly the best way to support the channel. A link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get down to it let's get down to the number one figure of the year and this was a line that had a lot of controversy when it first started out i told you i've worn my love for this line on my sleeve since day one because gi joe is my favorite property of all time going back to my childhood i love gi joe to this day i'm glad the bumps in the road for the most part, you know, any toy line is going to have bumps in the road, but this one really hit their stride in 2022. I am very excited to see where 2023 leads us. What are we talking about? Well, we're talking about G.I. Joe Classified Series Hasbro Con exclusive Serpentor and Air Chariot. I think most people probably guessed this was going to be my number one, but Serpentor right up there. We talked about Mumra. Serpentor, even more iconic for me in 80s nostalgia. Absolutely love Serpentor and his Air Chariot when I was a kid. Guess what? Some things never change. Still love it now. We get the grown-up edition here. We get the extra, all the extras with this guy. Definitely, definitely deluxe. I feel bad because I know there's a lot of people that wanted this that did miss out. But I truly do believe in my heart of hearts that we will get a re-release of this. Probably without the Air Chariot. But we'll get something a little bit different. A little bit different uh, packaging. Something like that. Because we always know and we talk about it all the time on the channel. Hasbro, Mattel, whoever it may be, they want every dollar out of your wallet. They're going to find a way. If they feel there is a demand, they might even straight up re-release it again. Who knows? But this figure, no doubt in my mind, this was the one to beat. And when I got all these guys together, put them in order, slept on it, put them in order, 
Serpentor came out number one both times for me. There was just no stopping this action figure. Absolutely a next level G.I. Joe character, Cobra character. I can't wait to see what the G.I. Joe line brings us in 2023. I'm so excited for sub teams, new characters, just a lot of excitement around the Joe brand. And I'm going to be here for it and the channel will be here for it all next year. And we'll see if G.I. Joe Hasbro can top this in 2023. It's going to be really tough to do. But I'll be here for it, like I said. And I hope you guys will be here for it, too. Hopefully you subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed these year-end countdown lists. We'll do it all over again next year. We might even add some lists next year. Maybe there's some other properties. Maybe there's some other things we should do. Uh, we can always add some videos if we need to. What is time, as we always do say. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this list. Hopefully you enjoyed all the lists. Hopefully everybody has a good 2023. I got one more kind of countdown list in me where I'm going to give some predictions, things I want to see from all the toy lines in 2023. So we'll do a video about that uh, fairly soon. So once again, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. So for the number one figure of 2022, Serpentor, G.I. Joe Classified line, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.